In today's video, we're loading the bus, going on a road trip. Hey, what's going on YouTube? Mr. Football here today. And today I'm here to talk about a little different topic, but uh, it's tips on uploading film while you're on the road coaching. And I wanted to talk about this because I've been the huddle guy. And if you're watching this video, you're probably the huddle guy who's in charge of, uh, you know, uploading the film after the game. And if you're like me, you've spent many, many hours just spending time uploading film. And whether you uh, coach at the youth level, whether you coach at uh, the high school level or beyond, um, I've kind of tried to figure out how to do this simpler each year, how to make it easier on myself, how to spend more time at home with my wife. And most of that was just trying to figure out how we could improve the way that we're uploading film. Now I'm going to be talking about some things that you may have more advanced stuff than I do, or this stuff may be more advanced than what you're doing right now. But I want to kind of meet in the middle and see of all these different options that you can have and, you know, talk about like what you can do to try to minimize that time of you know staying up late to make sure the film gets uploaded because you know if our games end at nine o'clock nine thirty meaning that they might have been a very long game or a very short game um you know by the time that like especially if you're on the road all right and so let's say that you play a game two hours away uh well that's you know two hours from you know leaving the place to getting back to the facility to drop off the bus and you know make sure all the kids get home and then it ends up turning out to being like nearly midnight and one o'clock. And so where I work, I live 35 minutes away from the school. So, you know, that's another set of time for me. And I've been, you know, commuting to work for at least the last three and a half years. And so it was always really late in football season when I would finally get home, upload the film. And so I'm crawling into bed sometimes around one or two in the morning. Uh, and that would be just upload uh, one SD card that was our wide angle. And for the last three years, we've been doing uh, wide angle and end zone. And so we've had two to upload. So we always have to trade. And I always get kind of irritated because, you know, guys would already be wanting to swap right after the game. It's like, well, guys, we're three hours away. Uh, you know, I'm working on it. And, you know, and, and I never really had many issues up until this year uploading at the house. And so I always seem to have better internet, uh, better Wi-Fi connection, just better internet in general at my house. But up until this year, it's just not been very good for uploading the way we're doing it now. And, uh, and so I kind of had to rethink what I was doing. And so I started to think about it and I was like, well, I'm having to upload you know, wide angle, then end zone. And usually what I would do in the mornings, once I, you know, got a little bit of sleep, it's Saturday morning, I would go ahead and upload the end zone film. Um, and then by, you know, 12 o'clock, our film is due to the Officials Association. So it was very hectic from about the moment that I woke up in season on a Saturday to about 12 p.m. when that film was due and we had to send it to the Arkansas Officials Association. So it was a very... It was, it was more of a headache to me. And so this past 2019 season, uh, we got Huddle Sideline. And so Huddle Sideline, we have the most, we have the basic package. So we don't integrate our, uh, we still use the end zone camera, but we just upload it separate and intercut it. Now, obviously if we wanted to spend over a thousand dollars per year extra that we're already putting into Huddle, we could, you know, we could make that one less thing I have to do. But we found that, you know, just the sideline replay, uploading one angle, as soon as you walk in, you have Wi-Fi was more beneficial to me than having all the bells and whistles on that huddle sideline uh, premium kit or um, I guess like I think they have two different ones that can upload uh, both angles. But I just found that that was easier for me for this first year. Uh, and, that, and that's what fit the budget. And everybody's budget is going to be different. So if you can, you can get huddle sideline and everything integrates perfect, then that's great. But uh, it was just a little bit too much for us. So we had the most basic $500 package, their huddle sideline basic. And so from that, you know, I was able to take the iPad. Uh, 
I, at first I was taking it home first part of the year. It didn't work. Um, I ended up having to go somewhere with Wi-Fi on Saturday, uh, you know, Saturday morning early to get it finished uploading because it was so slow. And then after that, uh, I would stay at the, I would stay at our field house until the, until the wide angle was done. And that was a lot of times that was for home games and road games too. So let's talk about road games. So what I, what I just, it hit me one day, you know, riding back on the bus and I just thought, well, and it was about halfway through the season and I just realized, man, I could just go ahead and start uploading this while we're sitting here with free Wi-Fi at McDonald's feeding our kids after the game. And I just thought, wow. And I just started uploading it there and it worked. And, you know, from the moment I walked in, I went ahead and started it. Uh, you know, as soon as I walked in the door and, and sat down where we were going to eat, and, you know, it takes about at least an hour because we had a bunch of hungry kids in there getting food. So, uh, you know, after the game, or at least uh, after we were done eating, I had one angle already uploaded, ready to go. And that changed everything. And so from that point on, uh, you know, when I would go on the road, go on a road trip, we're using the whole sideline. Uh, and we stop somewhere to eat. We always stop and feed our kids after the game. Um, McDonald's always, it's kind of a, I don't know, we've just always seemed to go to McDonald's. And, uh, you know, you just log on to your Huddle app and, and get that going. I'm going to show you guys what we do this year and, and, what, and what I'm planning on and the kind of the breakthrough that I have. If you don't use an iPad and you, if you, if you don't use an iPad at all, don't use the sideline stuff or anything like that, um, you know, Sky Coach or any of those other systems. Um, I don't know how Sky Coach works, to be honest with you. Um, don't know anything about it. I just know how the sideline and just, you know, the basic way to upload it. Uh, you know, taking your laptop or Chromebook with you. Uh, this Chromebook has a little uh, port there for a, you know, a micro SD card. So I was, at one point, I got real smart at the end of the year, uh, kind of nearing the end of the, and there was one McDonald's trip where it was after the game. I had the Chromebook and I had the iPad we filmed with. The Chromebook was uploading the end zone camera view and this one was, uh, you know, it was still uploading the uh, wide angle view. And so by the time I got on the bus to start heading home, film was done and that was kind of the breakthrough. Uh, it was unfortunately, it was, I guess, I guess it was our ninth game. And so that was, that was it. And so I'm gonna really test this out next year. So what you need to make sure you have everything to do this, you need to make sure you have Wi-Fi, obviously, the place you can get free Wi-Fi. Um, and that's just kind of, my whole goal with this was to have the film done by the time I walked in the door. Um, whether that, that door is my house or whether it was getting home from the road trip back to the school. And so you obviously need the Wi-Fi, you need to have access to huddle.com or the uh, mobile app that Huddle has, Sideline, the Huddle Sideline app if you're using that. Um, obviously the device to upload it, whether it's your iPad, an iPhone, um, you know, you can even record and upload through the Huddle app as well. Um, but that's really all you need. And then obviously your game footage, uh, you know, is right there on the SD card. So, um, you know, we, we use an iPad to film upstairs in the press box and then we use this Sony HD camera. Um, the exact model number on it is the C uh, X405, which is a really good camera, really good budget camera uh, for those end zone systems. And so that was something that we uh, that came with our end zone kit. And uh, I, I want to talk about what we're doing this year. And and I'm really excited because just in the last few days, I had a huge breakthrough. And I, I kind of started this idea, tried to figure out if it was going to work or not. Uh, had some help from my wife, um, who really made this thing work, and should probably be the one that's really accredited for this. Um, but what we did, and, and the thought that I had was, you know, I've got the iPad already uploading the um, the film from the wide angle, and then I have other iPads laying around. And I was like, you know, how can we make, how can I get the end zone camera up on the road too? Because I didn't want to really take the Chromebook everywhere. And so what I found out was, and I'm going to show you guys in more detail and later in this video, how we did it and where you need to go to do this. It's kind of a long-winded video. 
I apologize for its length, but I, you know, I think this is an important thing if you want to do it this way. So what we did and what I, what I thought about, uh, first off was I was like, well, I have an SD card. And so I wanted to use an iPad to upload it. And I wanted to see if I could just straight up upload it to the Huddle app. Well, it didn't work that easy. All right. The Huddle app doesn't allow you to do it. And so what I bought was a Apple Lightning uh, micro SD or a just an SD card reader. Um, and so it comes in this box right here. And, you know, at first it didn't work. And so I was like, well, this is a piece of crap. You know, paid, paid almost $40 for this thing. And then I started looking up different videos and I really wasn't having a whole lot of success. And so what I was finding was that when I would put the SD card in here, all right, I put the SD card in here and, uh, and put it on the iPad, it wouldn't show up any videos. And so I was like, well, this is, this is kind of crazy. And so then, you know, what I figured out was from there, uh, and this is where I need to transition over now and show you guys on the iPad uh, exactly how to do this because uh, this is where uh, everything changed. All right, YouTube. So what I'm going to do is I, in my hand right now, I have the lightning to SD card camera reader uh, in my hand. And so I just through the lightning port on the iPad. Um, and, and one thing that I thought would happen uh, is when I go to photos, go down here to import. Well, all it does is it shows still images. And so I could never figure out, you know, uploading the images from here. Well, I'm looking for all the video. But what I figured out was, was my camera doesn't film in MP4 format. And so that was a very key thing. And so all you're seeing right here is just some photos that have been taken. And they're like just still shots that were kind of mistakes that happened in a game. That's like these are pictures of football games. But, you know, from that, there was a video I watched of someone else, you know, importing videos. And it was from a different camera. But they, it was kind of a different process. And I was kind of getting to the point where... Um, you know, I didn't know what I was going to do. I was trying different, um, you know, Apple products to try to get this over here. But what I ended up doing was I went to files and the file is, is the folder down here. And so when I open this up, untitled is the memory card. And, and so that's what I figured out. And so like that has that information in there. And so the files that you see right here are on the memory card. Now, if I remember this correct, I've got to go to private, M4 root. Um, I go to clip and I film today these three images. And when I saw the image of our goat here, this was a huge breakthrough. So there's our goat. We uh, you know, do our live streams with, and he makes the sound. Anyway, um, you know, that's for people that have uh, been around my channel a while. But what I did was, is I've, I've got our game footage down here that I filmed just an hour or two ago before we uh, started this. So here's me, and uh, here's our game film. Yep, that's me throwing the football against the wall. Real interesting, okay? But that's our game film, okay? And so what we're saying is, is these three clips, that's our game. Very short game, but we're going to show you how to upload to YouTube. Or excuse me, not YouTube, but Huddle. And so what I what what you should do is go ahead and select these videos. And we want to move them to a new location. So we'll make a new folder. And we'll call it uh, FB Football Game Number 1. All right, it's our first game of the year. All right, and so we click Done. And so we're gonna, it says items will be copied to FB game one on my iPad and I will press copy. And so we'll let it do that just for a second. Once that's done, we will go to on my iPad. And I may have done this in a weird way, but we will try to find it here. Okay, so it, it did a weird one, but it's on the thing I was wanting to do. So it's on, I've been doing a lot of weird clips just to try to get this to work. So uh, there it is, football game one. Now, here's the key. Um, I'm going to have to get on to um, 
So it won't work through the Huddle app. So we're just going to uh, log on to our, we're just gonna get onto our internet browser on here and we're gonna pull up Huddle. All right, so we're on the main page here at Huddle. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our Files app. And the way that this is gonna work is we have to open up a new screen. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open up our files here. So this is the files that we need to upload. And I'm gonna open, I'm gonna, with my finger on the bottom of the iPad, if you got your iPad up to date with iOS, this will work, the current iOS. And I'll know that I'm going to need Safari open or, what, or if you're using Google Chrome or whatever. So I'm gonna hold on this and I'm going to drag it over here, all right? And so now I've opened up two screens on my iPad, okay? And I'll have to kind of navigate around here to find the upload tab. Um, so there's the upload button. And so now this is gonna be super easy. And this, when, I, and when my wife showed me this, uh, this was a thing of magic, okay? And I apologize for the slowness that Huddle is going with. I'm actually uploading uh, something right now to Huddle so we can uh, do kind of a Huddle breakdown here on the channel. It's probably gonna be slow. Okay, so we're gonna upload it to, uh, you know, our, uh, let's just let's just try to upload it here. And we're just gonna hit select files. Um, and, and I think what, how this will work is we hit browse and it did show it on there before, but let me see if I can, uh, do this right here. Um, I can select these and drag them over here and you see how that plus sign is up. Okay. And that's going to start the upload. And so once I hit upload, uh, they're going. And so just so you see that this, this worked. I think the only problems that you may have are you might have issues with, um, you might have a few issues with, um, you know, the video format. So um, iPads, for the most part, Apple uh, with their iPads, you know, they can recognize MP4 format. Um, but, you know, I really not, it, like the camera that I used to film this wasn't shooting an MP4. So I know for sure that, that this can be done uh, on, on multiple uh, devices. So that was just what I wanted to show you. And this is, I mean, that's like, say that's my end zone camera footage that I'm using. Uh, you know, that, that would be uploaded to Huddle and, you know, I could be sitting there uh, getting it done. And you can see uh, right here, you know, uh, it's uploading. So there it is. The final thing that I want to show you guys is on our iPad. Uh, how Huddle Sideline, how easy it is just to upload right from there. It stores all your game film, and so you just press upload and, and you're good. Okay, I wanted to show you guys on an iPad here when we go to Huddle Sideline, uh, as far as like how this goes when you have the film. As far as uploading it from the Huddle Sideline, it's pretty simple. Like once the game is done, you just hit upload to Huddle, and you just... Obviously, you have to make sure all your game clips are on there. Uh, we're going to run through one here. But uh, other than that, like, it's pretty much ready to go. Once you're on Wi-Fi, you can go ahead and hit the upload button, and you're good to go, and it'll start the upload. So I hope that was very helpful uh, in, a, in a lot of ways because uh, this, this has changed everything, and what I just showed you uh, was a really big breakthrough. And it's kind of crazy that it finally came to this. I was starting to just think that it wasn't possible to, you know, get the footage off of this, uh, you know, SD card onto the iPad to be able to uh, then upload it. But that handy little trick with splitting the screen on the iPad uh, really made the difference. And so um, I hope this helped. And so like I said, if you guys have any further questions on any topics related to, you know, uploading film to Huddle, um, this is just kind of the way to do it on the road. And, you know, I'm obviously going to try it out this year and see kind of how it works, see if it works out uh, the way I want it to. But from what I can tell right now, everything's going to go according to plan. And I hope this was helpful to the football community, uh, especially you guys out there uploading film late at night like I do. Uh, so... 
Um, yep, that's it for now. Make sure to check out Instagram for updates on the channel, um, on live streams or different things that we're doing. Also, check out our private Discord page to ask any questions you uh, want on there or leave a comment down in the comment section down below. We will see you guys next time. This is Mr. Football, and I'm out of here.